All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, all proper ages. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, we may be. Hope you're staying safe and healthy and indoors and necessary. So, this is basically because I need some questions answered and also it's for console tenor that haven't been keeping up to date with any of the new Railjack updates or any of the news or any of the features and whatnot. So, there's going to be a new couple of weapons to research when it comes out, which I don't have access to because the update's not on console yet. Yeah, there's going to be plating around this area, which is to increase your hull and armour. <sighs> I'm not too happy about that, to be honest. They're getting rid of some of the resources. Now, if I just have a look. Nope. I've missed them somewhere. Where the piss are you? There we are. So they're removing Pustrels, Kopernix, Trapans, Kesslers, Brachoids, and Fresnels. They're keeping Titanium, Cubic Diodes, and Carbides, and they're adding T Core Plate, or T Core Plate, however you want to say it, for the new plating that you have to craft. So they're making us grind more just to get the railjacks we've grinded through every bug and crash for, just to get it back to some kind of an optimal level that we used to have. That's gonna be fun, thank you very much. Uh, changes happening on login with further information below. Give the player the new plexus, they're in an arc wing, otherwise, this is given out on arc wing quest completion. Oh, I didn't know that one. Player early adopter bundle based on the three criteria outlined below, which we'll get to. Give clan commemorative statue if they have a dry dock. E. Actually, from what I saw on some streams and dev streams and content creators' videos from PC Tenno. It's a blueprint. You have to build the monument. Why, Digital Extreme? Turn all Dirac into Endo. We'll get into that in a minute. Turn all Dirac invested in avionics grid into Endo, and it's meant to be 39,000 if you maxed out your grid. Turn all avionics into mods, remove all obsolete mods, and turn into their replacement new Plexus Aura mods and other retired mods into Endo. <coughs> Turn all players tier 1, 2 and 3 reactors into reactors with new attributes as per new designs. I did not know that. Players tier 1, 2 and 3 reactors into reactors with new attributes as per new designs. So this one. 96 avionics, 81 flux, 10 gain 50% speed boost for 5 seconds when deploying the arc wind. I'd like to see what that changes into. So it's a tier 3. 40 to 60% manufacturer specialty and 20 to 40% secondary property. Vidar is for range and duration, Lavan duration and strength, Zeki strength and range. So mine will be range and duration. Alright. Turn all mentions of flux related subroutines into new subroutines, reset all intrinsics to zero, players must respect, we knew that. <sighs> yep, gone over plating. Uh, where is it? So the plexus is going to be in three areas that you can use. Either on your orbiter, next to the navigation, here in your dry dock, or in a dry dock on any relay. So I'm assuming it would be on this platform, probably here to the right. Unless they want to use that abandoned platform or something, I mean... This one's just here, empty, lonely. Come on now. Or they could put it here next to this one. 
uh, obsolete screen that is no longer in use. <coughs> so the Plexus is replacing this. Once again, this is for people that have not been keeping up to date. This, all these are going to be mods. This grid is going to be your Plexus where you slip the mods. Dirac, turn it to endo. This grid maxed out, so that's 39,000 endo there, but I'm not sure if it's a conversion of one Dirac to one endo. If that's the case, that would be 113,157 endo in total. <sighs> but here's my thing that I'm asking a question about, because I haven't seen it or heard anyone talk about it. Maybe I just haven't looked hard enough. Because they replace, I'll get into that part in a second. So say like artillery cheap shop is maxed out because some of these are getting replaced or having their drains increased. Railtrack mod drains have been rebalanced with respect to the new Plexus modding system. Hyper Strike is going from 13 to 15. Predators drain is going from 8 to 11. Section density is going from 10 to 15. Ford artillery is going from 9 to 16. So, everything that we grinded through, all the bugs and the game, amount of times the game crashed. A, this is, it sounded simple and decent enough, changing this all from mods and to a mod slot system like we're used to. And converting all the Dirac to Endo to, you know, fuse them even more, max out. But we have to level up the Plexus once again. And then if we want to add more mods into the Plexus, we're going to have to former it, as I predicted. <sighs> so now you're making us waste former. You know what would have been a good idea, Digital Extremes? I mean, yes, Tactical and Battle Avionics are not going to add to the drain, which I appreciate, but that's about the only thing I appreciate with the Plexus so far. So say I've got this one section maxed out. Say that was the only one I had maxed out. That could be one polarity slot already in the Plexus. So I've got both these two section layers, two polarities. All these three, three polarities. Add these two, give them... Another two, that could have been five polarity slots just to ease the amount of former that we may or may not have to use on our plexus. And that's just my opinion. Because when you say rebalance with respect to the new plexus monitor system, well, you didn't show us any bloody respect when you increased the drain capacity. You increased the drain amount, I should say. Jesus, wet. I can barely talk. I need a coffee. That is, mm, I'm not, I mean, other than tactical and battle not adding to the drain, that's about the only thing I like about the Plexus so far. Everything else is pretty much gash. I mean, is section density, is conic nozzle, are they going to stay that maxed out or am I going to have to add more endo to them as well? Because we know Hyperstrike is going to need two more fusions before I max it out again. Ford Artillery is going to need fucking another seven. It's... Mm, I'm currently not liking the, next, uh, the Plexus coming over. <coughs> I feel like we're being gypped a little. Having to spend more resources that we grinded for. But that's just me having a rant. <sighs> Intrinsics. Command is coming. But only 9 of the ranks, not 10. And I've got 1,315 to spend, so I should be able to get it all the way to 9. And piloting, if I remember correctly, you need to be at rank 8 when it all gets respect for like the side missions that you can do in uh, the Proximas. So I'll be good to go there. No worries. 
triple eight and nine, and that will be a nine when it comes. And with that being said, the tier lists. Yes, the tier list for the bundles. Here yeah, I can find them. If I can find them. Early Adopter Bundles. Whether you're someone that's already finished Railjack or have just a couple of hours under your belt, I've finished Railjack. It was a fairly short island. We have a variety of bundles you may be eligible for. In recognition of the construction of a home for the Railjack and Circle on Side, its elusive Railjack monument is available to any clan that has either built a dry dock or has started research on any of the Railjack clan tech to catch clans who might have removed their dry dock at some point. See, the dev stream showed it was a blueprint that you had to craft once you uh, checked your inbox. <coughs> Is that the case for the actual game? Is that the case for the rest of us? Because then I'm just not going to bother. Now, for the tiers. Tier 1, 4 avionic grid slots. Grid slots maxed and one wreckage built will give you one rush repair drone, two armament slots, ten ribbon slivers, bonus railjack mods of munitions, vortex, battleforge particle ram, void hole, railjack resource bundle, bundle and of common and uncommon railjack resources, a thousand tycor plate, 2500 cubic diodes, 3500 carbides, 3500 titanium, 75 isos, 75 callus rods, 75 asteroids. Tier 2. If you maxed out seven avionic grid slots and had three wreckage parts built, everything in tier one and two rush repair drones, 15 rib ribbon slivers, 10,000 endo, seven day resource and infinity booster, railjack resource bundle number two, bundle of uncommon and rare railjack resources, 125 ISOs, 125 gallus rods, 125 asteroid, 10 ore crush capacitors, 10 comms, 10 null stones. And tier three where a fair few of us are. Tier three, full avionic grid maxed and six wreckage built, i.e. all slots have something you've made. Everything in tier one and two, three rush repair drones, legendary core, umbra former, railjack resource bundle number three, 15 all crux capacitors, 15 comms, 15 null stones. In addition, any repair drones you have used will be given back even if you don't need any of these tiers. Meet any of these tiers, I should say. So, that is the gist of it. That is my thoughts on the Plexus. I'm feeling somewhat shafted by it. That is going through all the tiers. And this was, once again, just for people that haven't been keeping up to date with anything Railjack related. Uh, <coughs> yep. I hope you've got your intrinsics ready for when command hits. And I should be at a decent enough level. Triple eight and nine across the body, yeah, should be good. Got fairly decent weaponry. Actually, do I need to change that? Hmm, could do. Either way, yeah. So as I said, I had some questions about how much more endo is needed for the mods and how much former would you need for a sufficient plexus. Will the endo we get back from Dirac be enough to remax every mod that is going to have even more drain now? I don't know. Time will tell, or maybe you can tell me in the comments, but until then, I shall see you all later.